George, thank you. you. know, the freezing temperatures last night forced farmers all across the state to protect their crops. Here in Kent County, one apple orchard turned up the heat literally to keep its trees safe. 13 on your side's Nate Belt has more. Cold snaps happen often this time of year. That's something when you live in Michigan, you got to deal with the weather. And railside orchards in Lowell knows how to handle them. On Tuesday night, owner Aaron Roth started a gigantic fire right in the middle of his orchard. And the fire warms the air, pushes it straight up really fast, and it creates this, it, like I say, it creates kind of a wind tunnel down through here. That warm air is moved through the area using this gigantic fan, shown here with full-size reporter for scale. That giant fan works similarly to the air conditioning in your house, pulling the warmer air from higher up down so the colder air doesn't settle around the trees. And the method works. It got to 22 degrees down in this valley last year, and that should have been a pretty much a 100% kill, and we had a full crop in this valley last year. It worked last night, too. Roth only found minimal damage in the morning when checking the buds on his trees. So that would be our seed pod. That would be the center of your apple. So when we're looking for blackening or anything, any damage in that area, and this one's good. This is what a bud with damage looks like on the inside. And even though apple season is still months away, keeping those buds intact now is key to a successful crop. So if you don't have buds, you don't have fruit. With more cold temps on the way tonight, Roth doesn't think it'll be cold enough to light the fire again, but he will be turning the fan back on. In Lowell, Nate Belt, 13 on your side.